How's it going everyone? I'm Ron and welcome to another Backcountry Beagles adventure. We have a really fun trip planned this weekend. We got Joe and Jess in the green TJ, we got Jacob in the silver TJ, and we got Ash Eye and the pups in the green Cherokee. Just up this trail here is what I believe to be the most epic campsite in Colorado and we're going to be staying there tonight. So we're going to be airing down here in just a second and we're going to jump on the trail and go find the campsite. On this trip we are exploring the trails of the San Juan Mountains once again. The trails around Uray and Telluride have quickly become some of our favorite destinations. As the summer wheeling season comes to a close, we are trying to explore these amazing mountains as much as possible before the snow starts falling. Our goal on this trip is to show you what we believe to be Colorado's most epic campsite. I'm not going to disclose the exact location of this campsite, that would take the fun out of your adventure. But I will say, we started at the trailhead of Engineer Pass, just a few miles south of Ure, and we may have quickly visited here in a previous video. Coming from the East Coast, we have been around the beautiful peaks of the Appalachian Mountains before, in New Hampshire, Maine, Vermont, but in my opinion, nothing compares to the heart of the Rockies. Okay guys, here's the campsite. We just arrived and look at this overlook. Super nice. We've got the green TJ parked right here, the green Cherokee right here, and Jake's Jeep is just down over here. We got a river right down here. We're gonna be heading up the trail a little ways and try to get to the river because we're gonna do some fishing and then we'll be coming back here later. What are you so mad about? What are you so mad about? You can't go any further. I somehow had a motorcycle, but I was too scared. What, what are you saying? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell the people on YouTube about my dream. <laughs> it's cause I was in it. He's nervous to explain his feelings to me. <laughs> So you can see behind me now, some of the trees are starting to turn, like the leaves are starting to turn that nice yellow color. And down here in like Ure and most of the Southern Colorado, they call that the fall colors. It's usually late September to early October. They'll start to turn like orange, red as well. And out here in the mountains, it's absolutely beautiful. You can see them up there a little bit too. And then they're definitely starting over here as well. We were trying to find a spot to go fishing in the river and we were able to get to the river it got the trail and the river got a lot closer to each other but it's still not suitable for fishing really so on the trail tomorrow we're gonna see if there's any places that we can fish as well so with the amount of trails that we've been doing and everything I thought it would be a good idea to start almost like a backcountry beagles website slash blog so 
So keep an eye out for that in the future. What I'm hoping to do with it is have words on the page. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm hoping to do with it is basically go a little bit more in depth to the trails that we're going to be doing. I want to kind of include a little bit more of like the history of the trail, more on the trail details so that if you guys are interested in true uh, if, you, if, if you guys are interested in doing the trails that we're doing, you can kind of get a little bit more of a better sense, idea. A better idea yeah. of uh, what it's you're going to be getting yourself into. Basically, go along with the video yes. and stuff too. And I also really enjoy the history of the trail, and I think yeah. Ron does too. So I I want to do a little bit of history on each of the trails that we're going to be going on. Yeah. Um, and I also find that everybody puts all over the place like, oh, it's such a historic like trail, like it's so much history, but and they that's don't it. They give don't any include history. Any of the history. <laughs> Yeah, it should be pretty sweet. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to be, uh, we'll have a link. And I think the goal would be to have a new blog come out with every trail we yeah. do, or every new video, basically. So and it also, that's the plan. And it's also probably going to document um, some of our other travels as well. Yeah. Ones not, that aren't always necessarily Backcountry and beagles, yeah. yeah. But so just whatever comes to mind. That's the plan. What I also want to do with the page is give a little bit of background on each of the beagles. Uh, kind of give them their own little spotlight. Their own little blog post. Yeah. Because they all have their own very special personalities that I don't think get to be displayed as much on camera as we'd like. Yeah. It'd be pretty sweet. Oh, and there'll be pictures, of course. Lots, Lots of, of cute pictures. pictures. <laughs> People aren't going to watch so we also got a lot of trip planned for the, the rest of this year. So right now it's September. We got a big trip planned for October. We're gonna be going to Salt Lake City, Utah. So that'd be sweet. We're gonna explore it a little. We've only been there twice. So we're gonna explore it, explore some trails as well. And uh, go to pick and pull. And that's the we're going to get Jeep parts. That's basically why we're going. And then in November, we're gonna be going to Sedona, Arizona. We're gonna make that a big video. That's gonna be like a four or five day yeah. trip. And that will be our third time there as well. Third so time kinda, at Sedona. Yeah, and we're already very, well, not very familiar, but we're familiar with the area, yeah. so it'll be. And we never filmed it last time, so. No, neither of them actually. That's what the plan is. Mm -hmm. In December, we have an extremely big trip planned. We're gonna be going to a lot of new states. Yeah, that we've never, uh, at least we've never stayed in before. Yeah, we've never stayed in. We're gonna be starting in Colorado. We're gonna go through Utah, which we've been to, Idaho, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, and, and then Canada. And Canada. Um, that's a country. Yeah, not that's let's see. <laughs> and then uh, lastly, Nebraska. And then we'll oh, yeah, ba yeah. be back into Colorado yep. after that. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be like a 10 day trip. Yeah. That's we gonna still be have a to long, plan it. So, long time. yeah. It's also gonna be very cold. I'm sure we're gonna run into trails being closed and whatnot. So we're gonna be renting cabins and staying on the trail in the tent and it should be a really cool time. Bye bing, bada boom. Jake. What's for dinner tonight, Ash? Got New York strip sticks, one for each of us. Gonna be grilling in some butter. And then I also got some cream garlic shells to go nice. on the side. Awesome, nice sounds good. Um, I'm making some uh, New York strips with a little bit of garlic and salt and pepper, and okay. then we had a side of corn, but we forgot the corn, oh. so we're just gonna be eating steaks. <laughs> so what you did is you stalked me, saw that I was buying steaks, and then also bought steaks. We bought these steaks two days ago. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> no, I lied. We bought them yesterday. <laughs> What? Sorry. Where's the compliments to a chef? Thank you. 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 Thank
Thank you, Lily. Thank you. <laughs> I know. Alright guys, so I'm actually heading out for the night. Um, I brought my car here today because I gotta be at work for 9 a.m. tomorrow. So Ron's gonna stay here with Natty. 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 And I'm gonna take Cole and Bella and Lily. It's a really tough decision we yeah. thought to take. <laughs> we didn't think it would be that hard trying to decide which dog Ron was gonna keep. And Natty always stays with me though. Yeah, she's a, she's a daddy's girl. Yeah. I'm gonna be heading back up to camp where Joe and Jess still are. And I'm gonna set the tent up. I just kind of broke it down really quickly and I didn't put the cover back on, but. The camp's not too far up the trail, so I'm going to head back up there now, guys. All right, guys, me and Natalie are heading back to camp right now. It's really tough to figure out which dog to keep with me on the trail, on the trip. Natty loves off-roading so much. She loves being outside, and she loves, honestly, being with me. So, Natalie got to stay. We got a good trail planned out for tomorrow. We're going to be doing a trail called Yankee Boy Basin, which isn't this trail. It's actually just down the street. It's an overland trail from what I know. It might get a little rocky, kind of what I'm driving through right now. So nothing too bad. So we were playing around with the drone. This is a brand new drone. This is the first trip out with it. And it has a collision mitigation system on it that you can take off. It's basically so it doesn't hit any trees and whatnot. It'll stop and won't go any further. And you can take that off. You can put it in sport mode. And we took it, we put it in sport mode to kind of play around with it and we were messing around and it hit a tree really hard and we're about to show you guys this right now. So that happened like 10 minutes ago and this thing hit the tree and fell about, it hit a bunch of branches and then fell about eight feet after that. It was totally fine. We had to take the blades off and replace them because a few of them were cracked and whatnot, but it's literally still firing right there. <laughs> so pretty impressed with it so far. I'm definitely gonna keep it, keep the collision mitigation on though. It's gonna be chilly tonight. Good girl. We just jumped off of that trail that leads to that campsite that we were at and we're heading to Yankee Boy Basin now. It's only about a mile or two away from the trail we were just at. So we're going to jump on that trail and see what we can find on it.
waterfalls we were just at are called Twin Falls. After that point, it gets a lot rockier. Up till that point, a stock SUV could have done the whole trail. It's basically a gravel road. But after the Twin Falls, you might want some meteor tires. Right now, we're going up a lot of very tight switchbacks. It's still not extremely tough. We're not using the lockers yet. And you hear anything with the Jeep's engine. Probably sitting at like 1100 RPM. Exactly. <laughs> we're not using the lockers in either of the Jeeps yet. So it's still mild, I'd say. Yeah, just cruising on up, guys. video here right now we're driving down the gravel road heading back towards ure this was a really fun trip guys i'm really happy we got to show you what i believe to be the most epic campsite in colorado be sure to be on the lookout for the next couple weeks videos we're going to be doing a lot of really cool stuff on the channel and we're going to be going to a lot of very cool places anyways everyone don't forget to like subscribe leave us a comment we love when we see all that stuff it really does make a big difference as well and we'll see you next time